Angela here. I told there's just a short video. Uh, I was working today on something that I posted on Facebook earlier about uh, Digitech Studio Quad that I got a few weeks ago and they arrived with a broken display. I'm trying to figure out this whole almost like two or three hours if I could get something to replace that or do some modifications then I remember that I have a box I got a box of full of uh, full of uh, LCD, LCD displays a while ago on the few MIT flea markets a while ago and I started to search for those boxes and everything and I found the box but unfortunately it's not the displays that I needed and while searching for those things, I went through a few boxes that bought me good memories. So, let's show you guys. Yeah, as I, I posted on my Facebook earlier, it was about that display that came completely broken. And I was hoping to find something. And I've been searching, doing some research the whole afternoon here. So the box that I got actually has those LCD displays that's nothing to do with what I really needed. But the funny thing that I, gotta, I really want to show you guys, I came through those old boxes that I've not been touching for a while. And yeah, so I found my Arduino's. It's been a while that I don't even touch on those. Oh man. Megas, another mega right here. Some other stuff here, like another two mini pros. LCD displays and stuff. I don't remember exactly which mini computer is this one here. I have to take a look later on but I can't remember my mind at all and I have I there's a box also with my old droid I think so that is the yeah is the XU4 that's a really powerful little baby I may gonna play with that later on so I, I found my box full of Raspberry Pi zeros and I have some I think so maybe 20 of those on here and some Raspberry Pi's um, zeros but the zero W that's the wireless version I know that I may have two or three somewhere here for sure and I got through all of those. My first Raspberry Pi that I got, the first version, I think so. This one here has a 256k, sorry, 256 meg of memory. Is the I think so. That's the first version that came out with the two USBs the audio and still the video output on it then I have here two of my Raspberry Pis the B plus and here is my cluster that I built a while ago it's they still stuck it here and was one more in the top that was a controller but I took that one and I, I I'm using some other projects that I have around here Another Pi Zero wireless keyboards and all those things, those bought me uh, good memories, you know. I may gonna start to play with them soon since I just found those again. I'm gonna just leave outside and yeah, let's see. Yeah. Also, my box full of SD cards and stuff, readers, and I think that was all, guys. I just want to show you guys that you know, when you search for something, 
that you are trying to work on it and you suddenly hit something else then you stop you start to stare at those things and say holy shoot how long already time flying like crazy i remember when i got my first spy wow i built i don't know exactly what it was then i after this i installed the xb mc that was the code I think so. Bef uh, I think so. In the beginning, it was Sewer XBMC, and after a while, they changed the name for to Code. But since then, I never had cable or anything anymore, and it's still no. So that's all, guys. See you next time.